hey guys my name is femi or jeremy and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be doing a collab with somebody called er young boy he makes hacking touch videos and he does a lot of software related things so if you're interested make sure you check out his channel i've dropped a link to his channel in the description and if you want to see videos like that make sure you check him out in this video, we will be showing you 5 apps that every Hackintosh user should be using. The apps that we're going to be showing you in this video are really cool apps and they are apps that will elevate your use of macOS on your Hackintosh. These apps just give you an extra form of customization and some of them are things that you think that should be naturally in macOS but aren't but these apps allow you to do so and they are really cool. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell button to get notified when I post new videos. With all that said, now let's get into the video. Okay, so the first app on the list is called MOS. MOS is simply an app that gives your Mac or your trackpad extra smoothness in Mac OS. It basically makes your Mac or your trackpad move smoothly like butter when you're scrolling or you're using the trackpad. In the preferences, you can turn on the smoothening and you can also turn on scroll reverse. This is handy to those of us that have issues with our trackpad and our mouse. The trackpad will either be scrolling in one direction and your mouse will be scrolling in the opposite direction. So by turning this on for me fixes that problem and when I check this option, I can scroll on my trackpad and on my mouse in the same directions without that issue. You can also launch the app as login so that when you put in your computer, you don't have to come into the app and open it every single time you want to use it. You can just launch the app from your login. And if you move into the advanced, you can disable or enable the toggle key which changes the vertical scrolling to horizontal scrolling. And you can enable and disable a block key that temporarily blocks smooth scrolling. Below here, there are a group of other settings you can use. For the step option, you can set the minimum scroll distance, you can increase it or decrease it depending to your taste. You can also increase and decrease your speed for when you're scrolling and duration of how long your scroll animation works out. So if you'd like to keep your regular scrolling in a particular app, you can add it to this list here and MOS will add it to its whitelist and ignore the app when it's in use. So it's a really great app that I've been using so far and I actually got it because the smoothness on my trackpad in particular is not as smooth as what I would like it to be. I searched on Google for this app and I found it and ever since then I've been using this app. It's one of the best. Hey, it's here young boy and for number two, we have the Space Launcher. With this app, you can set shortcuts to launch apps, websites, open folders, run a script and lot more. And it is free for everyone. So you can download from the link in the description below and install. Now to set a shortcut, all you just need to do is come to the plus button, then choose the value, the key you want to be able to access the shortcut. So I will go to go with um U, then choose what you want it to do. Open the URL, either to open the website or to open an application. So I'll just choose application. It should open my calculator. Choose. Then click save. So all you just need to do is launch the app, open the preferences, and select the values. To use and you will the shortcut will play so when i press spacebar plus u it automatically opens my calculator so now let's press it spacebar plus u it immediately opens your calculator you can also press your spacebar for long to see your default shortcuts so for instance i have d f l r s u and w you can also add comments to each shortcut by right clicking and typing your comment so this app is simple to use. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for you to download. Alright, so app number 3, we have Night Hour. This is easily one of the coolest apps I've used for my hacking touch. The app basically allows you to set some apps to light mode while your system is in dark mode or to set some apps to dark mode while your system is in light mode. The regular Mac OS dark mode is great but sometimes I wish I can change dark mode in some apps to light mode while my system is still in dark mode. I don't know, I just kind of find some apps better looking when they're in light mode because when they're in dark mode, texting some apps in dark mode can become very hard to read sometimes. And sometimes I wish I can just change some apps to light mode while still maintaining my dark mode like having my menu bar and my dock in dark mode. But Mac OS doesn't let you do this and you can only just use the three options that are there which is light mode, the dark mode and your schedule mode. But with this app, you have full customization of this effect. You can set all your apps to maintain its light mode feature while having your system still in dark mode or you can select only the apps that you want to retain its light mode and it will do that for you. In the app you can set it to automatically switch from sunrise to sunset. You can schedule it to any time you want 
and of course you can select all the apps if you want the apps to retain their light mode in the settings you can enable run on boot which means that when you restart or you turn on your computer for the first time to boot the app will automatically turn on and start functioning you can also set a hotkey on your keyboard to easily disable and enable the dark mode so this app comes in really handy and i know that a lot of people will love it because not everybody likes some apps when they're in dark mode and can become very hard to read especially if your brightness is not bright enough number four on the list of most app akintosh apps we have the on archiver this is basically the winner or seven zip of micros mac os there's no winner for mac os so you can't extract from the app dotra extension so this is basically the app we use to extract such files now the app has many features you can extract different files zip ra 7z different archive formats that you can extract so in case so now you can send files to your mac even though they are not in zip form and extract it so in case you download something online or get a file a document you can easily extract it so that's basically the function of on archiver now to download we're going to leave a link below or you could also go to app store and search for the on archiver which is yeah, that's the first option once you search the on archiver so it's a must have app and make sure you install it on your Hackintosh. For the fifth and final app, we have Rectangle. Rectangle is honestly one of my favorite apps in Mac OS and it's something that has been on Windows for a very long time now that I wonder why Mac OS doesn't have and it's just something that makes sense if you have a Windows style kind of operating system. The app basically just allows you to snap Windows in place to any direction on your home screen. You can snap it halfway to the left, halfway to the right, to the top, to the bottom, in different different corners and it's just really fast. There are hotkeys for them, you can easily just use the shortcuts or you can go into your menu bar, click on the rectangle menu bar icon and select from the dozen of options they have there. This app is especially needed by Hackintosh users and people who multitask a lot. If you're a Hackintosh user and you don't have a trackpad or your trackpad isn't as smooth as it will work in a real Mac, instead of you relying on gestures that are not working or that might not work at all, you can simply use rectangle to easily move your windows as quick as possible in a neat and fashionable way. So that was it guys, those were 5 apps that we think that every hacking touch user should use is to make your life a lot easier and when you start using them you won't be able to not use them because of how simple they will become to use if you liked this video make sure you like it subscribe to see more of my videos also subscribe to er young boy his link is in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye